What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you a plugin for importing 3D models into SketchUp. Let's get started. If you've tried to import 3D models into SketchUp before, then you know that it's not as easy as it seems. Because there are so many problems. For example, it could be because the model you want to import is too heavy and it might crash. <laughs> All right. Or maybe you can import it, but it doesn't come with any textures or materials. And sometimes you can't even import it at all because SketchUp doesn't support formats like OBJ and FBX. Well, there's a new plugin that solves all of these issues and makes importing 3D models into SketchUp so much easier. It's called Transmuter. Transmuter is a plugin that takes various 3D formats such as FBX, OBJ, 2DS, and DAE and convert them into SketchUp files and make it ready for render software such as V-Ray, Enscape, and Thea. There are also other cool features like geometry simplification and Megaskins integration, which I will go over in this video. You can download a free trial or buy Transmuter using this link here. After you have installed the program, you can launch it right inside of SketchUp using this button here. First, you will see this window where you can open a model that you want to import into SketchUp. I can drag and drop a model here or simply click this button. After you have opened a model, you can see the preview of it on the left side. Here, you can orbit by dragging the middle mouse button. And if you hold down shift at the same time, then you can pan the model. You can also zoom in and out by scrolling the wheel. And click this button here for zoom extents. You can see that the model is not oriented correctly. So first, I'm going to use the up axis option and change it to make it correct. I can also change the origin of the model to center, bottom center, top center, or default. Then I can also adjust the scale using the unit's conversion. In this case, it looks like centimeters works best. I can use the entourage here as a reference to adjust the scale. Furthermore, I can change the scale using the scale multiplier. While adjusting the scale, I can look at the stats section to see the specific dimensions of the model. Alternatively, I can manually edit the dimensions, which will also affect the scale multiplier. When I'm happy with it, I can click here to transmute or convert it. After it's done converting, the model will automatically be imported into SketchUp. Here, you can see that the model has lots of edges. So you can smooth it by using the Soften Edges option inside of SketchUp. Alternatively, you can specify a smooth angle right inside of Transmuter. For example, I'm going to set the smooth angle to 70 and transmute it. As you can see, this time when I import it, it will automatically be smooth. Now it's ready for render. Remember that Transmuter is compatible with Enscape and Thea as well. Another cool thing about Transmuter is that it converts model with render ready materials. To look at the materials in the model, I can go to the materials tab. Here, I can click on each material to see more of its settings. Or I can hover on the preview on the left and click on a material to automatically show its parameters on the right. If the original model comes with textures, Transmitter will try to load the textures and adjust its settings appropriately. As you can see, my materials are imported with maps such as Diffuse, Reflection, and Normal already loaded in the correct places. So I can just render the model right after import. Sometimes the model comes with textures, but it doesn't load automatically for some reason. If that's the case, then you can load it manually by clicking on these buttons here and just load in the appropriate texture maps. There we go, looks pretty good. Transmitter also has a really cool mesh simplification feature. Just move the slider to the right to simplify the geometry of the model. 
This will reduce the number of faces while preserving the shape of the original object. And you can look at the stats section to see the number of faces or triangles before and after it's simplified. This makes it super easy to import large objects such as this huge mountain here. By default, Transmuter will convert the model at full geometry mode, but you also have the option to export proxies for V-Ray, Thea, and Enscape. I will use V-Ray in this case. And here, you can choose the different types of placeholders for the proxy. These include bounding box, face skipping, billboard, etc. After that, just export and import to SketchUp and it's ready for render. You can also use Scatter to distribute your proxies and make a force in an instance. Finally is the Megascans integration. If you have access to Megascans, you can load any 3D object using the direct link right inside of Transmuter. Just choose a Megascan object that you want to use and click export. Make sure this is set to custom and use the socket port number 24981. Then just export it and it will be imported directly to Transmuter. Now just make adjustment and import to SketchUp. As you guys can see, Transmuter is just an amazing program that makes it so much easier to import 3D files to SketchUp. This will really improve the speed of your workflow while expanding your 3D model library. So be sure to get this program now by going to this link here. And that's all for today guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys and I'll see you next time.